In the level A, we're going back to the other one thousand years challenge. This is the area fifty one. So let's get things started. All right. So again, nothing much has happened in the past day itself. Overall, in terms of the U.S. equity market, we did see a red candlestick. But bear in mind that overall, we are still leaning towards neutral to slight bullish, simply because of the fact that we are actually accumulating very nicely below the two hundred simple moving average and exponential moving average on the day chart for S&P five hundred. And overall, in the case of the S&P, slightly less bullish, but we are still accumulating near the support region over here that we're potentially forming. So as long as we can break upwards, then the bullish momentum will likely continue because we did technically form a higher low and also higher high formation itself. But bearing in mind, this whole thing could also be an ABC kind of a corrective wave area wave kind of formation. So that is something to bear in mind. So if we do actually break strongly below these two moving averages, then I will lean back towards the bearish side of things, even though we have yet to form a lower low just yet. All right, over in terms of ASHR, why is clearly leading towards the bearish side of things? Because even though we form a high, higher high and low, and a higher low, we're actually leaning and breaking clearly since below below the 20 exponential moving average. We try to hover around here, but it lacks actually momentum and strength, which is why I did mention that ASHR is currently like the outlier, which is not behaving like what S&P 500 does that, or even KVR is behaving right now. So that's definitely something to take caution about. And finally, for KVR itself, the final traditional financial market that I do know, we do see some sort of potential support, especially at the 20 exponential moving average on the daily chart. So if this could actually in fact turn into supportive itself and accumulate over here, could potentially form a very nice base to actually push towards the upside as well. So that's something that I would like to see. And that could potentially form it as well. In the event of the, and finally for Bitcoin itself, for crypto market in general, so we do see a very clear sense of consolidation. We do see the volume spike, volume spike, volume spike, volume spike. But other than that, price has remained relatively flat at this 16k region itself. Not necessarily a bad thing to me or short term. I do think that we'll still have a few more days to accumulate, giving time for this 20 exponential moving average for the daily chart to catch up for price to move up. But I think it's more likely for the moving average to move down itself. So by the time it does move down, the question is what will happen in the sense that the very candlestick that actually causes it, especially the volume spikes, and in that direction will likely lead to a continuation towards the other side of things. Unless we see a break towards the upside and a quickly close below it, then that itself will be a very clear false break towards the downside cover kind of formation to me. But on the other hand, we do break very nicely towards the downside, and there's a clear rejection. There's a clear, clear rejection of the downside. The downside is that I wouldn't have much room to shop in terms of entry itself. So, what I do actually want in terms of IU situation for me is a very clear rejection. Uh, push towards the upside and then a break towards the downside and then we close below the 20 exponential moving average. That's where I'll put the sell stop order below the low of the day candle itself and then a stop loss right above the swing high and then I'll be potentially riding it to the 14k mark as target one and potentially even towards the 11.5k mark as the second target in time. All right, so with that said, currently I'm just waiting on the sideline. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop by your comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.